Hey, Gogo here for a second Hua Hua video. As promised, I've brought some extra spice for a second video on this awesome new sustain. I have tested Hua Hua with every unit to see how she affects their energy and rotations. I might not have everything locked down, so if you have any extra bonuses from Hua Hua's energy not listed in this video, let me know below. I also can't find every possibility that exists in the world. This was already a lot of work, and saving a turn every now and then for an ultimate is still awesome, but I'm looking mostly for major changes in rotations that can help. Anyway, let's begin. Let's quickly discuss why Hua Hua's energy is so major. The most important part, and something a lot might miss, is the fact she can save skill point usage through this energy. If a unit like a sub DPS or a harmony needs the skill to get that ultimate, and you're providing enough energy with your Hua Hua ultimate, then that unit can now use a basic instead. Next is the ability to suddenly have multiple allies ultimates a whole turn earlier, allowing for that burst combo to suddenly now happen a turn before. This is very nice for zero cycles too, as you can probably optimize clears with Hua Hua's energy and help units get multiple ultimates before that first cycle ends. Finally, her energy funneling and synergy with Tingyun is pretty impressive. Tingyun and Hua Hua can double funnel energy for a hypercarry for tons of extra ults throughout the fight, with Hua Hua providing energy for Tingyun at the same time. Furthermore, if an ally is already close to their ultimate, well now Hua Hua can provide the energy needed without Tingyun wasting hers. I'll first start off by excluding every preservation and abundance unit. We don't run double sustain with Hua Hua or most sustains these days anyway. If you want to run it for simulated universe memes, energy is always cursed in that anyway, so there's not much point to it. So let's now start with the Nihility units, who are known for their energy shenanigans. Gwenaifen is first. Gwenaifen has a 5 turn skill point positive rotation at E0, dropping to a 4 turn skill point neutral one at E4. Hua Hua is excellent for the under E4 Gwenaifens, as Hua Hua's 4 turn rotation will be benefiting every Gwenaifen rotation. The skill point neutral Gwenaifen rotation can also gain benefits, allowing you to now go 1 skill 3 basic, or at least not need those E4 procs as often. Kafka is next up. Hua Hua doesn't provide anything obvious for Kafka at E0, since her rotation is 3 skills 3 talents. She can drop a skill and a talent with Hua Hua with a couple kills though I guess. The real deal is E4, where Hua Hua can enable her 2 turn rotation versus 1 enemy only, and where with Ting Yun, you can ult twice in one turn on Kafka, though this is well territory. Luca is another benefactor of Hua Hua's energy, much like with Gwynaifen, since he also has a long 5 turn rotation, meaning she can benefit every rotation of his and turn it into a 4 turn one. And for the last dot gamer, we have Sampo, who at E0 has a 5 turn rotation, meaning E1 isn't required. E1 is easy to get though, enabling a 4 turn rotation, but Hua Hua can also help reduce that, or even let him go a bit more skill point positive, even allowing him to do a 4 basic rotation if you use shared feeling. Silver Wolf notoriously has a 3 NG problem with tutorial. Now you won't solve this every rotation with Hua Hua's ultimate, however if you use shared feeling on Hua Hua, who needs the skill anyway, that will fix this problem and let Silver Wolf no longer need Von Wack, Energy Rope or the Thief Energy for this tutorial 3 turn rotation. She can also help if you don't have Tutorial Light Cone on 2 out of 3 rotations. Welt benefits from her energy at E0, but E2 cycles super fast and only has issues into low enemy counts, and E6 Welt does not care. And finally, Pella cycles too fast and is already spamming basics, so nothing immediately beneficial for her with Hua Hua's energy. Now onto the destruction crew. Blade can synergize nicely with Hua Hua. He needs a tank hit for his 3 turn rotation, so she can at least guarantee it if you get bad luck. She also has very high on demand healing for Blade and he will be getting tons of healing in a Bronya comp with all those extra turns, meaning he should be maxing out his ultimate's HP loss. He won't be getting the aggro increase of Lynx, but that's at the cost of way better sustain from Hua Hua and the possibility of Mono Wind with maybe the new Penaconi set. Clara prefers the aggro of Lynx too much to run Hua Hua in my opinion, and all Hua Hua would do is remove the RNG factor of needing counters for her ult's rotation, but a Lynx would avoid that with the aggro anyway, and you usually run Ting Yun too. For Lune, you can remove the kill base needs of his 3 turn rotation. 
and running Slone means Warhawk can rotate for every rotation of his very easily. Just one problem is the skill point usage may be a problem in some teams. With Tingyun E6, Warhawk and one kill, you can ult into triple enhanced skill into ult again for tons of fun. For Jing Liu, it's always a mystery due to the amount of kills she can get and this enhanced state, but Ting Yun can already let Jing Liu double ult during her state, so Hua Hua can help it happen more reliably if you mess up rotations, and with enough kills and luck, you can probably try and hit 5 enhanced skills in one spectral state. Also, Hua Hua easily heals up the damage taken from Jing Liu's HP siphon. For Hook, I didn't find her energy helping any rotation. She already cycles pretty well with those burn energy procs and her ascension 6 passive. As for Arlen, he wants a shoulder and double sustain is whack for damage, so we won't be considering these two together. Finally, I didn't find anything meaningful for a physical MC, she just saves a skill every now and then, but they need a kill due to having 120 energy cast. Now let's check out the hunt DPS. Well Dan Heng is notorious for having some energy issues due to ending up at 95 out of 100 energy after 3 skills. He can also go skill point neutral in some team formats for a 4 turn rotation. He's not spectacular, but if you do use him, Wahua can help his wacky rotation whilst also activating his talent at the same time, for much better res pen usage on his ultimate. For Sushang, I found that Wahua can help Sushang's normal 4 skill rotation, but it won't be up every rotation since Sushang does have that 100% advance forward on her ultimate. Wahua's energy also really helps when you are really close to Sushang's ultimate, but you don't want to waste its advance forward or any energy when you skill next turn. Finally, she can save a turn off of Sushang's skill point positive rotation if she goes for a sub DPS playstyle. Topaz's skill spam does not have issues, both kills she can at least reduce the rotation by one turn. For skill point neutral Topaz, you can shave an action off the rotation, and for skill point positive basic spamming Topaz, you can drop her rotation to a permanent 4 turn rotation from its usual 5 turn amount. I didn't find anything meaningful energy wise for Zila, and Zila is always a bit weird with energy anyway due to resurgence and tons of kills. You also need to be wary of skill point usage from the two together. And finally Yan Qing has the same problem as Arlen, you don't want to sustain and you need a shielder for Yan Qing's soul still sync passive. Now on to harmony units. Turning a skill of theirs if they don't need it into a basic is always nice, but let's see if there's anything special. For Asta, she rotates very fast already, and so apart from saving a turn here and there, there's no big breakpoint. She can help you not need that E4 energy sometimes, but Hua Hua's ultimate won't be enough to consistently benefit from it. Bronya's rotation is already pretty set in stone too, and so no major things either. You want to use skills a lot anyway on her, and her 3 skill rotation with her signature can be replicated with Hua Hua, but not every Bronya rotation. It's still nice to have the energy of course. Tingyun is, as I've said in the intro, excellent with Hua Hua. She will shave an action off of many Tingyun rotations, and can make that 3 turn rotation not require a skill every now and then. Hua Hua making Tingyun's ultimate fill up a whole turn earlier is also nice, since you will now have 2 NG ults all that DPS in one turn, which is used for many fun rotations. Finally, Yukon can benefit sometimes in niche cases where you don't want to skill in order to conserve skill points, or you don't want to skill because your speed tuning is messed up. Wahua can give her that energy for that ultimate that benefits E6 quite a bit. Now finally, we have Erudition units. Hata can benefit sometimes, especially if she's running sub DPS and won't skill all the time and sub DPS can go slow with no speed boots, which means Hua Hua can cycle quite effectively with Herta. Hua Hua also allows her to drop a skill sometimes, or just get a better rotation as a main DPS. Himiko benefits from Hua Hua's energy as it removes the need for 3 talents for the 3 turn rotation. You would now only need 1 talent activation. If you use Shared Feeling, you can even make it a 3 skill rotation with no talent activations, but she's going to get one eventually. As for King Yuan, he likes the energy, and if you don't use Ting Yun in the team for whatever reason, well Hua Hua can enable a shorter rotation all by herself. Ting Yun and Hua Hua together as well can enable the 2 turn ultimate rotations every now and then. Also the crowd control problem I originally found actually isn't a problem, and you can cleanse him from CC out of his turn if he's healed from the under 50% HP heal, or just her skill like usual, which is pretty awesome. 
as a Ching Shui, a Huo Huo ultimate means one less enhanced basic needed for her ultimate, but that's about it. She can do it for every Ching Shui rotation if you're not spewing out kills, but you probably are. Funny, QQ really needs those skill points, so it's not the best pairing. And our last erudition unit is Serval, who cycles super fast and does not gain any apparent bonuses from Huo Huo's energy. Anyway, I hope this video helps you, and if you have other rotation ideas, let me know below, and I will enjoy reading them. Thanks to my awesome YouTube members, thanks for watching, and have a good day.